Hey, today in this video, I'm going to do a comparison of a couple HMIs to our Z7-5600K line of LED Fresnels. We've got a 575 HMI Fresnel outside the window. So we've got the light at full flood and we've already pre-aimed it and we're making about a two and a half f-stop. We're at 250 ISO, 24 frames. So we got a two and a half. I was doing color temp readings because I just want to give some color temp uh, references uh, with our LEDs. Uh, this is showing about a plus one. Okay, so first up in comparison to the Aerie 575 Fresnel is our Z7 5600K 200 watt version. And we've pre-aimed it's full flood, same ISO, 250, 24 FIPS, and we're making almost a two and a half, two and a third in the hottest area it seems as we go up we're about a 2.0. Uh, I just wanted you to kind of see uh, we're still creating emollient pattern though it's not as uh, strong as the True Airy 575 Fresnel but we still are creating one and of course the lights only 200 watts so um, same distance good comparison. Uh, as far as the green content goes uh, we've worked hard on that and we're coming in around a two, a plus two. Okay, next up, we now have our Z7 5600K 250 watt version. Full flood, uh, 250 ISO, 24 FIPS. And I forgot to mention that the camera exposure has never changed for any of this test. I just kind of locked the camera off. I haven't moved it and exposure stayed the same. So some things may possibly look overexposed or underexposed, that's the reason. Uh, so now we're almost making a, a 2.8, two and a half, two and a half to 2.8. Uh, so obviously that 50 watts more on that fixture has uh, given us a little boost here, a half a stop or so more. And we still have our emollient pattern, and, but just a little more punchy. And let's take a quick look at color temperature and it's going to be identical to our other one because uh, everything's the same diode set so we've got a plus two plus three uh, which is right on line with the uh, 575. Now we're going to throw the Monster 1200 par up we'll put a, a stipple lens in it again everything's the same same ISOs same exposure on the camera same distance from light to subject and as you can see, what you know, typically happens with a PAR is you lose any real definition. Um, it can be a good thing or a bad thing. It just depends on the look you're going for. Uh, exposure wise, you know, we're brighter, but not by much. So two eight, two eight and a third, two eight and a half, uh, but still compares to everything else that I've shown you. So a quick color temp check on our PAR plus two in green. So it's, it's right on uh, line with everything else that we've shown you. So our LEDs, the 575 and the uh, 1.2, they're all pretty much in comparison with each other. Same green content and exposures are all within a half a stop of each other. So I'm just trying to show you an example of what you can do with our LED Fresnels. Uh, you can use them outside just like you would with an HMI. There would be, of course, limitations on how bright it's going to be, but from this uh, demonstration, you can see how they compare. Uh, but the good thing is a much lower wattage. So typically, if you're working outside in a house and you've got to use house power, it's probably a GFI outlet. And, um, you know, you'll trip that with a 1200, but uh, no problem with one of our LED fixtures. So if you're using an HMI, typically you're going to have a head cable, a ballast, HMI bulb, and, of course, an HMI spare and a lot of weight, a lot of stuff to carry around. Uh, ease of use here is it's just simply plug it in and you're ready to go. Uh, fully dimmable, can't do that on an HMI, so you're going to have to have some scrims. Uh, there is no bulb to change and you get true color and you, know, you saw it from the demonstration. Uh, another big selling point is you know price points. I mean a lot of people don't realize what an HMI costs. Uh, go out and try to buy a 1.2 uh, par or for now, if you buy it new, um, seven thousand to ten thousand dollars. 
you know, the ba electronic ballast, they're four grand. The heads, three, four thousand uh, dollars. Same with the 575. So if you turn around and, you know, you could pick up four or five of these units uh, for the price of one HMI. Uh, so there's a lot of pluses to this. You know, you got to see from the demonstration how it can compare to an HMI, but it really comes down to how you use your fixtures, you know, what you need done, what you're trying to accomplish, and these lights might fit the bill. Here's a web extra for you, a commercial I shot exclusively only using my Z7 Fresnels to light the entire commercial.